Hey guys, so today what I want to do is make a quick video showing you guys uh, how I plan on color filling in my low receiver and uh, the roll marks on my Noveski NSR rail. Um, this isn't going to be a how-to video. Uh, this is more of a, a video just kind of showing you guys how I'm further customizing my AR-15 build. And uh, the reason why I want to uh, color fill the low receiver and a little bit on the NSR rail is because I want to break up the flat dark earth a little bit more. Um, those of you guys have been following along with the channel and, and following along with the build. Um, you guys know that uh, the whole goal or theme behind this build is for it to have a flat dark earth and black two-tone look. And... Um, even though I'm leaving all the main controls like the trigger, the, the safety, um, the forward assist, the dust cover, the buffer tube and stuff like that black, um, I just kind of want to break it up a little bit further um, by adding a little bit of testers paint to all the roll marks. Uh, basically I'm going to be using uh, two types of testers paint. I'm going to be using white and black. Uh, both of them are semi-gloss and uh, I'm going to be using the black to fill in the Spikes Tactical Spider logo, all the roll marks underneath it, um, the roll marks here as well as the bullet pictograms on both both sides. Um, as for the rail, uh, what I'm going to be coloring or, or color filling is the Noveski logo here. I'm going to leave where it says NSR 13.5 and, and Noveski.com um, flat dark earth. I'm not going to touch those. Uh, just to do that part, um, I think it'll look cool because uh, the uh, bolts here down below are going to be black, so it'll kind of break it up a little bit further. Uh, plus, I'll have a black barrel running through it, so um, I think it'll look cool. Uh, this is more of an aesthetics thing than anything else, and uh, again, I think it's going to break up the flat dark earth uh, a little bit more. Um, what I'm going to be using is, uh, like I said, testers paint, and um, I picked up some really, really cheap um, nail polish remover. I did hit, I did go ahead and get the non-acetone version uh, because I don't want to ruin uh, my new Cerakote finish by using um, a nail polish remover that does contain acetone. Um, so that's the main reason why I went with uh, the non-acetone version. So um, again, this isn't going to be a real how-to video. It's just going to be a video of, of me showing you guys, uh, um, myself going through the process. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with the black and applying it to the Spikes Tactical Spider logo. So I'm going to go ahead and film as much of it as I can and uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the end result once I'm done.
All right, guys, so as you saw, I just got done filling in uh, all the roll marks on my lower receiver as well as uh, the Noveski logo on my NSR rail. And I gotta say, I'm really, really happy with uh, how well everything turned out. Um, I think it looks really, really nice. Um, at the beginning of the video, I, I, I commented on or talked about how I wanted to break up the flat dark earth a little bit more. And I think I definitely achieved that. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys some up close footage of both the rail and the lower receiver here. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys some before and after footage of the lower just to give you guys a, a better look at how well the testers paint fills in all the roll marks. And um, I would definitely recommend testers paint um, over any other way of, of filling in um, your lower receiver. Um, there are different options out there. You can use a Sharpie marker. Uh, you can use uh, paint markers, uh, you can use uh, whiteout, crayons, uh, and of course testers paint. But I definitely think it, it, you'll get a better result using testers paint and it's a little more permanent. And uh, it, in my opinion, I think it just looks a lot better. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, thanks for watching. And if you guys are interested in upcoming videos, as always, make sure to check out my channel page. There should be a list of four upcoming videos there. Uh, so that way you guys can stay up to date on uh, what's coming up next with uh, this AR-15 build as well as other projects going on and um, thanks for watching guys until next time see ya